In spite of activities to mark Niger's 60th Independence Day celebration, Business Day's Women's Hub presents Women Champions. Now the initiative presents a unique opportunity to celebrate women's contribution to the development of the nation across all spheres of life. Now to this end, Business Day Women's Hub will publish 60 of these women who will be selected from the entry process received all across Nigeria. Well, joining me now live in our Lagos studio, I have Kemia Jumobi, Associate Ar uh, Editor, Business Day Limited. Good to have you on The Breakfast Show today. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> now, tell me about this initiative in celebrating the role of women and the contribution to Nigeria's development and also transforming the face of key sectors of the economy. These are leading leaders we're celebrating. Um, over the years, we've always celebrated women, um, distinguished women doing great things in their field. So we thought this year to make it different, to celebrate 60 women doing phenomenal things, regular women doing phenomenal things all over Nigeria. We've been receiving entries already, and I'm excited, you know, that the entries are even coming from places I least expected. So the idea is to celebrate this women. We've opened up lines for people to call in and also to send their nominees to fill a form and let us know why you think that regular woman is a phenomenal woman. Why you think that regular woman deserves to be among the 60? So from Kano to Katsana to, to Borno to Lagos to Bauchi to Niger Delta, wherever they are and you know that you're doing phenomenal things, mm. you're supposed to just go to the website, click on the link and then fill the form and then nominate the person. So we'll be receiving um, entries already and I'm looking forward to receiving more entries from all over Nigeria. Okay now, so when does the whole nomination process come to an end and the selection process as well? What's the criteria for the top 60 that emerge? Um, it was supposed to be on the 15th, but you know, we've been getting people sending messages and saying, you know, you have to extend it, please don't let it be 15th. So we're looking at maybe moving to 20th. Um, the criteria is just simple. What is, it that the, what is it that the person is doing that makes this person unique? Um, I got mails from people who are taking care of people that have Down syndrome. I've got mails from people who are taking care of people who have been abandoned. I'm reading phenomenal stories about women that are doing great things in Nigeria. And I'm saying to myself, where have these women been? Why mm. haven't they been celebrated? Is it because the limelight is not on them? Is it because you're not celebrities? Or is it because nobody knows who they are? But the amazing thing about this platform is that these women are brought to the fore. We are seeing these women, we are reading about them, and I'm excited and can't wait to share these amazing women. You'll be amazed at what is going on. People are nominating people from outside the country. You know, I got a mail from somebody who was telling me about a woman in Nigeria that's doing phenomenal things, and she doesn't even stay in Nigeria, but she's nominating somebody in Nigeria. So you never can tell who that person that deserves, you know, to be among the 60 is, but I, I won't know if you don't nominate them, so yeah. except you're being nominated. You know, we'll never just know. It'll just be like a light under the bushel. But we want to celebrate them and want them to come out. And that's the reason why the initiative has been put in place. Well, definitely we have to celebrate women across. New contribution is little. But let's talk about support now for women across the economy, especially in emerging sectors and markets. At the end of the day, uh, we still don't have enough of support for women in terms of driving or fueling the contribution they could actually bring to the fore. Interestingly, um, I was at, uh, we, anchored, we had a program over the weekend um, and I had to take care of the C-suits, amazes on the C-suits. And one of the things we discussed was financing with women, the kind of issues that they have when it comes to finance. And I said clearly, I said it's been proven that women are good when it comes to returning loans. So when they take loans, it's been proven that they always, you know, refund the loan. So if you empower a woman, you empower her to do different things. If you give her money and you say to her, when are you going to return this money? And she returns at the time she states she's going to return it tells you the kind of person that she is so if more women are empowered they will be able to you know do better things empower other women and do great things so there's a lot that women can do if they are not given the opportunity it will not happen opportunity can only happen if the if the avenue is opened so i'm always excited about reading about women doing great things but the major thing is challenge that, that's really challenging is finance mm. and so one of the things that we are <coughs> hoping to do even with this is you know to just as we're celebrating these 60 women, can, can, can a bank, can a company, can an individual say, you know what, I don't know this woman, but I know she's doing amazing things. Can I, you know, support her with this to encourage her? Because you don't know the kind of, you know, how, how good it will make her feel to be a blessing 
not only to herself but to other people. Mm. So I'm complete support of women empowerment is important. We cannot do without it. And as they are empowered, they're able to empower other people. So mm. in various sectors of Nigeria where you have women having great ideas and not able to do certain things, their limitation is their finance. If they can get money, they'll be able to do greater things. And then we'll have less of people getting into things they shouldn't be getting into. Once you empower a woman, you empower a nation. And wrapping up our conversation at this point in time now, what's also your word to women beyond access to funding or finance at the end of the day in terms of speaking up, engaging, networking and looking across the different value chains and seeing where they are most relevant and contribute much more strongly. At the end of the day, some say women shy away, but I think women are much more bolder these days. So what's your word to the woman in the rural area, the woman in the urban centers, the women across board who still feels their limitations. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. No matter how intelligent or how great or how amazing you are, if nobody sees what you're doing, you'll mm. just be shining in the dark. There's something inside of you that makes you unique. There's something inside of you that makes you great. If you do not allow people to see those things inside of you, nobody will know what you're capable of doing. So it's important that you find yourself, you believe in what you're doing. For instance, in Business Day, over the years, we have an annual women's conference called Inspiring Women Series, which I do coordinate. And what we do is that we bring women together, great women, uh, pre, um, uh, wives of governors, um, people from United Nations, I've had Yvonne Chaka Chaka before, MDs of banks, great people. Mm -hmm. And when they come together, they share their inspiring stories to other women who also learn from them. They network, they ask questions, they leave the program becoming better than they were before. We are 10 years now, and I can tell you categorically that over those 10 years, the lives of those women have not remained the same. If there was no opportunity for them to express the way they feel, for them to see another woman and feel inspired, there will not be any reason for them to be where they are today. But because they have gone to programs, they have seen different you know, women doing great things. And it's not only in business day. For instance, WinBiz are doing programs that are like that. There are various women programs that are doing programs where women can meet themselves, network, learn, and become better. The more these kind of platforms are open, the better the lives of women are, the more women that have been inspired. I mean, inspired. Mm. So to any woman who believes that you can't, I dare to tell you that you can if you believe. Now, to what extent do you think this initiative throws more light to the issue of value addition, improving on women's network-based skill acquisition, and adopting stronger business models for greater success? At the end of the day, it's all about pushing the women folk much higher. Um, it's not um, a lie anymore. I mean, it's out there that women have to do almost twice as hard, you know, to be able to achieve the things that men achieve. Um, but there are women who are not necessarily out there but are doing great things in there where they are these are the women we want to celebrate um, over time when we've been having our women conferences we have some of these women come to the conference to meet other women that they look up to to learn from them to understand the process of going out there being out there letting people know what you're doing being the face of people selling your products you know, telling people about what you're doing, getting loans and doing various things. We've connected them with these women and they are also, you know, getting better at what they're doing. But the truth of the matter is, with almost 200 million people, we can't reach everybody at the same time. So there are still some women who haven't even realized what they carry, who they are, what they can do with little that they have that can multiply and become more. These are the women we're reaching out to. And this opportunity is to celebrate them, to let them know that you can be seen. What you have done in the private is about to be rewarded in the public. We want to tell their story, we want to celebrate them, we want to appreciate them for the things that they have done that had made them nominated, be nominated for this um, exciting program that we are doing. So it's going to be an empowering thing. It's going to be something that encourages them to do more. You know, by the time we're going, because we're going to publish it in the papers, we're going to put their pictures, we're going to celebrate them. Someone is going to see them and say, wow, this woman is caring for the people who are not able to speak well. This person is caring for the people who have Down syndrome. I think I need to support her so she can help more people. So these are the things that we're going to do, you know, in celebration and appreciation of the 16 women that will be selected. And going back to the selection process now, if you could just highlight step by step and where's the website for people to be able to go and then make their nominations and remind us of the date for the closure for nominations. When you go to www.businessday.ng and you scroll down, you see it's there, Women Champions. Just click on it. You don't even need to do anything extra. Just when you click on it, the information comes to you. You begin to fill. You write out the details of the person. And each, when you leave it uh, a stage, you move to the next stage. And it goes on like that till you're done. 
Um, the closing date is on the 15th of September, but like I said earlier, we have to extend it so that other people can also be part of it. Because we wanted to end it on time so that we can collate the mails. When I say mails, I mean mails that have been you know, coming in, because nominations mm. are, you know, so we're likely going to extend it to 20th. And after 20th, there'll be no more extensions. So if you go to the website, you'll find mm. it there, www.businessday.ng. Um, you just click on it, and then you give you everything you need to know about it. Now, let's also deal with the pertinent issue we have on ground now. The impact of the COVID-19 continues to bite much harder. And those who are most vulnerable, we have women, children, also men as well. But to a very large extent, we have unemployment rates also soaring. At this point in time, what's also your word to both the state government and the federal government to be a little more intentional and have an inclusive plan for the entirety of the society in terms of having a stronger recovery and then still having women in focus talking about inclusion? You know, the truth of the matter is that COVID has hit us real bad, like real bad. I have a doctor friend in America who was speaking with me the other time and she just, she was going through it and I had to keep encouraging her. So it's not only a Nigerian thing, it's all over the world. But interestingly, um, somehow we haven't been as affected as other parts of the world in terms of numbers and so to that we all got thanks you know for that but having said that a lot of businesses have been affected there have been salary cuts there be people that have lost their jobs there are women who are taking care of their children alone without the help of their husbands they are widows you know but this 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 period has been a bit challenging i did a, a series at, at a particular time on the women's hope where i asked women to share their stories with me and you'll be surprised and amazed how people have really really gone through hell so but we're grateful that things are beginning to look up for everyone out there that's feeling discouraged and feeling like, where do I start from? Because you're alive, there's hope, and that's where the process begins. For everybody that is alive, it means you have hope. Um, I want to encourage the government, whether federal, state, at whatever level, to please support women, support everybody. But you know I'm passionate about women. Mm. Support women. It's, it's been proven, like I said earlier, whenever you give women loans, they return the okay. money. They return the money, support women businesses, support people, you know, uh, SMEs, SMEs, you know, people that are just starting up. We, we don't mm. only always have to support the big ones, support exactly. the small ones, and the little ocean can become a bigger one, you know, <laughs> sooner than you could ever think or imagine. Thank you very so, much for your contribution you on the so show much. today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Steve. Kemi Well, this. we just have to continue supporting women, and the support, no matter how little, will definitely change the landscape of how things are done. Thank you once again.